we woke up nice and early again for our last full, like unique one park day. So we've done Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios, so therefore it must be Animal Kingdom Day. And we're so excited. Of course I have like my whole Miko look going on. And we're going to one of my favorite like meals of all time. We're gonna do a pre-park opening at Tusker House. Those are my favorite character costumes in all of Disney World. I can't wait, but I am thinking about sticking to pretty savory foods because all the sweets have been wonderful, but my body's like, it's time for some savory things, Kate. And it's okay. All right, body. I hear ya. Jungle Juice, which is the same awesome Pog juice that is at Garden Grill. And then for my first plate, I did stick to savory, although probably shouldn't have gone so carb heavy, but whatever. I have a bacon and cheese omelet. And we'll see how that one tastes. And I got two biscuits with some sausage gravy. I did get one a little bit less covered, just in case I don't like the gravy, I don't know. I'm a huge fan of a sausage patty and bacon and then some tater tots, yum, yum, yum. Second plate, had to get another sausage patty, really like that junk. Got this chicken curry that I really like, so I'm trying a little bit of that. But then star of the plate, definitely really soft biscuits with amazing sausage gravy. Come on out. Oh no, not me. Oh, oh honey. Oh, oh. I have never been so full in my life. But the food. What did you eat? What did you think? It was awesome. We got to meet four characters. Oh my god. Oh, and uh, did you like the characters? Oh my god. They were the cutest in their safari outfits and Goofy. That. Spot on. Yeah, spot on. Goofy loves me. <laughs> So the park officially opens in about two minutes, which is perfect timing. We're going to Everest. Are you excited about Everest, Lauren? I'm so excited about Everest. We're so excited about the Getty. <laughs> Didn't
vanilla solo. You guys are so good. Very interested to see how this, how fast this line is going to go. ride Everest to my favorite Animal Kingdom area, Dinoland, USA.
go. Yay! You're his favorite character, Launchpad. Leaving Duckburg to go to the Dinosaur Institute. It's fast, it's a blast, it's in the past. This is Seeker. Listen up. We've got good air traffic going on and get help before that asteroid hit. Let's go! then check out some more animals on the safari. Fast one goes. Wow. It's It's a Spider-Man. What do you think they're thinking about? Oh, oh my god. Uh, that's so cool. One who's standing up is keeping watch. He's yeah, the he sentry. Is. But that's their job. They switch on and off doing it. The little Timones. Oh, there they are. Right here.
gathering. Yeah, he is. Look at his little belly. His little belly. So this looks good too. You excited to see the animals? It's the lions. <gasps> Safari time! What animals do you want to see? Tiger. Oh, I don't think they're there. But maybe a lion. What are you excited for? Giraffes and zebras. Giraffes and zebras! And then what are you excited for? I know. All of it! Alright. Johan? Lion. Lion. Oh, and I also really like seeing the obsidian tree, even though it's fake. Oh well. Here comes our ride. And if you want to see what the men look like, take a look at the animals flying a guide right above your head. Found both ends of it. Mm -hmm. so many Watch the animals. human sure take in his water. natural source of energy. Nature is amazing and beautiful. I have, I have many natural predators. <laughs> I'm one of them. And they're about as long as the giraffe is tall, which is about 16 to 20 feet in length. And his crocodiles can't wait to buy all the time to pounds. We just right now we are leaving the river eat up to half their, their body weight, weight in one meal. Savannah. So like, just like Savannah me. Savannah's a very popular one. Looks very, very familiar to you. Look at this giraffe. I've never seen that many, and I've never seen them like so this before. This is a good giraffe adventure. Alright, top one. Okay, go. But when they are fully grown, like the one on our left hand side, they're about 18 to 20 feet tall. So we see triple in height over your lifetime. Oh. Now Josh is about 30 minutes out of the day, if that, and they don't even sleep at all at once. So they will take short little intervals, sort of like many naps stand there, and just for a few seconds to a few minutes. But because they barely sleep, you can usually find this evening. On average day, these giraffes will spend about 20 hours of it munching away. 18 inches long, and it is a prehensile tongue, which means its tongue walks around like a hand. They're in a bundle of leaves, and bring it down into its mouth. And dress also do have very large hearts. These hearts are about two feet wide, come up to 25 pounds because of this they have very high blood pressure. African elephants, you're shaped like Africa. That Asian elephants are usually a lot smaller and tend to be more jagged around their edges, and their body size in general tends to be a lot smaller than these African elephants. So you know this elephant is moving its ears around quite a bit, and that's actually in the cooling down, sort of like having two goats in fans. Now our conservation team discovers that elephants are surprisingly terrified of bees. Um, because of their very large ears, they can hear them from about a mile away. So we have farmers in Kenya built beehive fences around their harvest to protect it from the crop breeding elephants. So the farmers, they benefit from their harvest as well as the sales of the honey. All these elephants, they also benefit because they are not being harmed in any way by the farmers who are just trying to protect their lands. And they're also known as the trees of life because they only have leaves for about three months out of the year in order to conserve water. And larger animals like these guys love to either poke holes in the street trunks or even rip off some of the bark completely to get water from it during drought. Because these tree chunks can hold up to 10,000 gallons of water in them. Which is how they get the nickname, the Tree of Life. The baobabs are also known as the upside down tree. Because they look like someone just picked them up and turned them upside down. The branches do look like roots. So all the flamingos are Let me go by. So they, they have to get their pink coloration from their diet. And they get it from a protein called beta carotene, which is found in trip. Let's take a look at the flamingo's legs. See this little knob right in the middle? That's in the exact same place as our knees. But that's actually their ankle. 
I can see you lying up on this, Kobe. We're about to go around. Let's like, try rock. Like, the lions, they do rest about 16 to 20 hours out of the day. And they're most active during the moon hours and at night time. So can you usually hear them talk a little bit during those hours? right there, sleeping. But when they do their full, full roar, you can hear it from five miles away. It's very loud roar. Now the ladies, the lionesses, they're the ones that do the hunting. All the males hang back all day and protect their land. Seriously, best safari ever. I swear, bring my family with such good luck. We're having so many great experiences, for real. Now, if only the lion could have roared, but you know what? I'll take what we got happily. I've never seen such a giraffe before. What'd you think, Daniela? It was good. What do you think, Jenna? Oh, I liked it, all right. What'd you think, John? It was great. Wow. No, Laura, you it was amazing. Thank you. Forget all them. It was amazing. <laughs>